Hello, YouTube! It's Loquid, and I'm back for more Dungeons of Dreadmore, your favorite series on my channel. When we left off, we had our intrepid, reluctant hero, Loquid the Footman. He has not leveled up for several episodes. However, we have been pulled from the clutches of death multiple times in the room previous. We have purchased some hard cider, some absinthe, and some bourbon, as well as continued to increase our Lutfisk treasury trove of wonderfulness. And we are now about to continue onwards, upwards, downwards, and so forth. Last episode, we uncovered a secret exit here, so we've got to go all the way down through our old monster zoo and back up just to get to that spot to explore what's in there. All right. Whoa. Okay. My guy was on auto move, and that obviously did not work out very well. As auto move will step directly onto a teleportation plate and move you because our guy is an idiot. We are not, but he is. Oh, come on. Die. Die. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. We're going to try and kill Electro Blobby. There we go. We're going to pass Rune of Explosion on our batty friend and get out of the fire. If you can't stand the heat, get out of the oven! Which we do as much as we can. Haha! -ha, die, batty, datty! And enraged diggle diggle. I don't care how mad you are, you cannot beat me! See? Haha, ha, die. Okay, go out, fire. There we go. And we are almost up to our secret exit. Or entrance, whatever you want to say. Let's find out what's in here. Really? Really? All that for just a little bitty, bitty, dingle, hoppery headband that doesn't do us diddly squat? Oh, lordy. That sucked. Leave a like for sucky items and hidden passages, folks. Please. If you agree with me that items in secret passages should be better than any item you have on your inventory personally, leave a like. Leave a comment. For that matter, send a comment to Gaslamp Games. We're all out to please you. We're all out to entertain you. We're all out to have fun and explore the dungeons of Dreadmoor. We must complete the mission of killing Mr. Dreadmoor himself. And we've got a little bitty bitty box up here we have not explored yet. Ah! I keep going into that. Alright, we've got a room to explore. Ooh, let's explosionize that. Oh, come on. Haha, <laughs> there we go. I got one of them at least. Oh, come on. There we go. Kill them all. Die, diggle, diggle, die, diggle, diggle, die. Boom, chicka, bow, wow. And onward we move. See, I keep going into that teleportation. And that one. I don't know why. My reaction times must be a bit slower. Oh, looky here. We found our pink spot. 
Oh, check out that crossbow. 10 piercing, 8 stars, 14,000 Zorknids. I think we're a bit off from that one. We've been loot fisking a little too many items, I'm thinking. Oh, I don't think we can do anything in here. Yeah. We've got better gear than what this guy can offer. However, we have items we can sell him. Now, I don't know if I've shown you guys this yet since their last update, but if you hold shift, your item up here changes from press shift to quick sell to quick sell mode. You must hold shift down, you clicky clicky, and shazam, it sells automatically, instantaneously for the amount offered. That's all I can... Well, we've got a diamond. Let's see. 292 Zorknids. We get 2,560. If we shifty-clicky Shazam, check that out. The exact amount gets added to our inventory, and we can move on. Isn't that fascinating, folks? Insta-sell is a wonderful thing. Okay, run of explosion. Come on. Die, diggle, diggle, electro blobby, die. Oh, these guys are so mean to me. They refuse to die. They just keep tackling me and harassing me and leaving traps everywhere. Gargoyle oil, arrow trap, wooden barrel. Ooh, Havarti. Honestly, folks, Havarti is my favorite cheese in the world, period. I'm not just making that up. I'm being very serious. That is my favorite cheese. And specifically, Havarti with dill. I don't know what it is about it, but it just... Mm, yum, yum. Give me some nice, genuine Italian salami with Havarti and some Ritz crackers. And, oh, I am a happy person all night long. Such a good little snack. Ooh, a glass sword. Two slashing, one piercing. Two smashing, one trans... I still like that transmutative damage. I, I, I gotta keep on what I'm doing. But yeah, you know, I mean... In all seriousness, folks... Nothing for me beats... Some uh, Havarti with dill. Some Ritz crackers. And some salami. Except for, of course, killing death with exploding spells and some minor swords. Ooh. Okay. See that? The baddie, he's he's really being rude to us, don't you think, folks? Let's put on Radiant. Oh, we can't put on Radiant Aura. Oh, shnikes! This is going to be bad, folks. Oh! Okay, there we go. We beat him. Let's run and try and get some health back. Come on, death. Okay, come on. Back off. Leave us alone. Back off. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's glug glug some sewer brewer. Okay, there we go. We can now cast this. And kill them both. Shazam. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out, folks. See that? A little bit of brains. But yeah, as I was saying, Havarti with dill, salami, and Ritz crackers. Mmm! So good. So, so good. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, let's put that there. Kill him before he gets to us. Okay. Fancy Orn and some Lucky Pickies. The Prince, Lucky Pickies, Shodi Dwarven Ayed. Okay, folks, and I'm pretty sure I've talked about this in a previous video, um, but the auto loot 
in the next update, which is has a undetermined date, we'll have automatic default auto looting of lockpicks, which means no more, oh darn, we walked over lockpicks and we didn't pick them up. We have to now place them in our inventory manually. I can't wait. I know it's a minor feature with minute consequence, but at the same time, it is an important thing. Okay. All right, let's try and regain our mana here. We've got to require, we've got to regain about 20 mana, which is going to be quite a few turns, even at four rounds per point. I'm just pressing space. Go, whoa, check that out. He just spawned in there for no reason at all. Die, 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 you enraged Deagle! Give me your money! Ugh. Tell you what, stay where you're at. There we go. Haha, oh, check it out. Kicked your butt. You know what, Batty? That wax you put on your butt didn't do a thing for you. Didn't help you at all. Didn't help ya. Ooh. Mellow in the magical shop. Hey, check it out, folks. There's our other item that we have to give to the Shrine of Eyeballs. All right, now we've got an age steak. I told you guys about this in a previous episode. Here we go. Check it out. Age steak turns into grilled steak. It went from 3 health to 10 health, just like Shazam. Isn't that awesome, folks? Oh, we've got a crossbow. Too bad it's much weaker than the one we have. Pyrite Sun, bookshelf. I didn't even get to see what that was. You know what? This is where we kept teleporting to, isn't it? All right, we've got another aged steak. Let's make it a grilled steak. And I keep not using these throwing items, don't I? I need to start using those. Oh, man. But I also need to start... Oh, my goodness. Is that seriously? We've got 47 softballs. I've never had that many of one item before. Wow. Let's keep saving them. Oh, yeah. We're doing pretty good, folks. Seriously, we really are. Especially for a person that relies primarily on magic, supposedly, for attacking. Oh, nice. We've got two characters that we just might be able to get. Let's use our throwing knives and hit them. Oh, check it out. Nuked. Nuked! I atomized, vaporized, and nuclearly demolecularized them. More traps. Oh, check it out. There's our eyeball shrine. We've only been there once before on a pun of teleportation. But we're going to save that for next episode. Because we've got an Octo, a new enemy! Spell casting cephalopods with a taste for human brains. Make calamari out of them. This monster is trying to kill you. You know what? I'm trying to kill him, so let's cast a rune of explosion. Kaboom! Kill him, nuke him, cook him, fry him, and otherwise end this video with him dying. Well, folks, this has been yet another episode. We've got to level up before I end it. All right. All right. Ding, ding, ding. Sword practice. That's what we just learned. Until next time, I am Loquid. Have a good day.